Hey guys, so today I'm talking about doing master studies and how to grow and improve as an artist. So when you've kind of, outside of just practicing the fundamentals, another aspect of art that you want to try to study and practice is style, technique. And one of the better ways to do that is to find a couple master artists that you like and to try to kind of see what they were doing. So something I've been doing lately is I've picked out a couple master artists and I study their artwork, I observe it, I look at it, and then I try to recreate it. So that way I can get inside their head and think, what were they feeling, what were they thinking when they were doing this piece? What was the process they were going through? What techniques were they using? And how can I apply this to my own growth, my own art, my own style? So somebody I was looking at lately was Leindecker. He worked for the Saturday Evening Post. He did really great artwork for a while and he coined a lot of like his style was definitely something that was very different he kind of coined it he was going through the process between you know making painting look more illustrated and in my opinion his stuff was really clean um working for the saturday the saturday evening post he had a very limited color palette and i think the saturday evening post had i think like three to five colors they'd allow him to do and despite that limitation in colors like he would just find a way to really apply them so nicely together to really just make vibrant and cool pieces of art and he would lay kind of a gradient down that looks smooth and then have bold brush strokes on top of it that really when they all kind of stacked and built up they really just all kind of came together and looked so nice so this is one this is a, a piece of a bigger painting that he had done and I was just doing a study the one behind it was a girl that he had done a study of children eating cereal and I really enjoy the hair I think it had a very graphic type of style to it it looked really vibrant and cool really clean so I thought this was cool and then here's another one Again, it's a smaller part of a bigger piece. Girl holding wood. And then after him, another person I've been trying to study would be Virgil Finley. He had a very meticulous, intri like just intricate style. He would do a lot of stippling, a lot of like small cross hatching, and he would use like very dramatic high contrast lighting which I thought was really cool. It's just, um, you know, he would just work really with black, gray, and white, and he would just have very emotional, very imaginative pictures. This intricate style to show nice gradients. And so I was just trying to kind of figure out through this, I was just trying to figure out his lighting, how he's showing shapes and forms without lighting. Here's another one I had of him. I really liked it. It's a little bit of a comic book type style, but enjoy it so um yeah you just had a lot of techniques to to show value a lot of really interesting techniques and then of course the next person that i studied for a while well that i'm studying right now is frank frazetta frank frazetta did really cool art um Thing I'm trying to pull from him is his pieces had a lot of power a lot of drama behind them and he was really good at storytelling I wasn't so much interested in his colors more his poses and the type of creatures and the type of story that he would use all of his characters were really strong looking and they were always going on adventures he made the kind of art that you look at it and you want to know what's going to happen next what's the story behind this what caused this character to get to this point in the story and i really like that the fact that you look at his artwork and it makes you think so here's one that i did and then here's another just another girl i thought that was kind of cool and then this right here is something that was a little bit, you know, I was trying to take a step out of what I normally do. It was a little bit more of a loose painting. I'm trying to study different lighting. And um, 
it's kind of fun you know that's another thing i suggest too try taking what you're adopting from these styles and just try to kind of mess around try to experiment try to see what you can come up with it may not always be a hit but you might find some cool things and um you know this wasn't my favorite painting i had ever done it's not something i'm gonna do all the time but i really do have some aspects about it that i enjoy and that it did help me learn but uh that's my suggestion is find a couple of artists a couple of master artists um, understand that they have there's value to studying their technique and their process try to do that try to pick out what you enjoy try to apply it to your own style and technique and try to grow from that and it's been helping me a lot so hopefully it'll help you too so that's it for today guys thank you for checking this out and peace out